My name's Blame, drum and bass producer, 720 Degrees, Charge Recordings and Metalheads. I first started DJing probably in about 1989-1990 in a small club in uh, Luton called The Grid. Um, and back then the music that we'd be playing uh, was kind of known as hardcore. It was a kind of sound um, I'd say a couple of years before drum and bass really grew out of it, but it, it was kind of the, uh, the foundations of what we're doing now, so I was pleased to be a part of it and get my break back in the early days. Back then, I mean, the influences, uh, DJs like Carl Cox, even like Fab and Groove, to me, were like the guys that were kind of setting the standards of those kind of beats, and the good thing was that it was breakbeat kind of orientated music, but there was also kind of influences from Belgium and Dutch kind of uh, techno influences coming in. And it was a whole new fresh sound, people fusing break beats with uh, house kind of stabs and all kinds of stuff. And that was what was really launching a brand new sound, which, which is really what captivated everyone. The way I got into drum and bass, it was really uh, a gradual, the gradual slow process and the way the music evolved. Because I was one of the lucky ones being um, back in the day that kind of was there before drum and bass. And there was basically a lot of guys on the same kind of wavelength doing the same kind of thing. You know, we wanted to fuse break beats with our sounds. We wanted the track slightly faster. We wanted to bring different influences in. And what happened was it was a gradual process building up and um, drum and bass probably um, just grew out of what everyone was doing at that moment in time. Basically, um, I got into producing, um, one of my friends had a work experience in a recording studio and he said come along, so we'd always be talking about, you know, you'd hear a track and you'd think, oh, imagine if this sound was in there or that was in there. And he had a bit of work experience, so I came along and uh, basically that day, I, you know it blew my mind I was like my god you can get these sounds these ideas all in and it wasn't like as hard as you would have imagined so basically I got a nine to five and I uh, saved every bit of money I had and then once a week I'd go and spend it in the recording studio so my whole week was basically geared up for one night that I was going to be making music the first track I made within like the first four hours was called Music Takes You and basically um, I guess it was beginner's luck because that track blew into the top 40, um, it's number one in the national dance charts but God knows how I did it because I've still been trying ever since to recreate that success but you know it was I guess those things happen and it it was just wicked to get a real foundation into making music and, and what happens when you get a successful record and you learn what you'll do and what you wouldn't do again. I wouldn't be uh, spending as much money out in the uh, nightclubs with my mates drinking after that anyway. Basically, um, the way I first got signed to a label, um, it was Moving Shadow and that was the track Music Takes You and what I, what I actually did was I, I went to the local record shop and just had a look at all the uh, the logos, all the tracks people were buying. And I saw this strange twisted up man kind of logo, which is the, uh, the classic Moving Shadow logo. And I just thought, yeah, I've seen that on a few kind of record decks in clubs. Got the phone number off there, kind of had my notepad out in the record shop. And um, yeah, just give him a call. A couple of weeks later, the track was kind of being pressed up, which is pretty wicked. And the good thing is, I've, this year I've um, also signed a little track back to Moving Shadow. So it's kind of about nearly 13, 14 years later I'm kind of going back there with a 12 inch project which is always nice. I think the current state of drum and bass is wicked because you know everyone stepped up the game production wise and you know the quality of the tracks now is really really wicked and the good thing is whatever sound of drum and bass you're into there's always bad tunes there you know it's like whether you're into the more musical side or the dance floor side or you know you're more into the metalheads kind of thing the quality is there and i think that's really healthy for everyone involved i've been really busy over the last couple of years doing a lot of production work and a lot of stuff and a lot of the music that i've been working on is really starting to come out over the next few months um, I've got a couple of tracks appearing on uh, Mampy Swift's um, Music Forever album, Solar Burn and uh, Tornado. They're going down really well, which I'm happy about. Um, also, I've been working hard on my label, 720 Degrees. I've got a track called Red Alert and Alien Fire, which should be uh, hitting the stores over the next few weeks. Future 12 inch on Metalheads as well, called The Search and Land Speed. Look out for that one. Also, got a track called uh, Psychotropic 
which is appearing on Metalhead's new album. So, pretty much loads and loads of 12s happening, and um, the project with Mampy, which is uh, going really well as well. Basically, um, done a little mix. Um, it's, it's a little collection of tracks that um, I've been working on over the last few months. And it's kind of ranging across what I love about drum and bass, the full spectrum. You know, you've got the deeper vibes, the more dance floor vibes. Just kind of put together how I like to hear it. So, yeah, hope you like it. You're listening to the Groove Rider on the BBC Radio 1, 97 to 99 FM. Groove Rider, live on Radio 1. The game ain't changed, the rules have just switched. Just logged on. 
You're listening to Rider Radio here on Radio 1. Now we've got my special guest in the studio tonight doing a special 30 minute mix or 20 minutes. I don't know. What do you think, Blade? So we've got Blame on. So keep it here. Keep it at 97 to 99 FM, Radio 1.
So, Mr. Blame rolling out in the mix. Thank you, sir. Once again, it's been an honour, Mr. Blame. Come and bless us. Now, he gave us an insight into the world of Blame, and uh, there's a few things I didn't know about him. As regards to music, that is, anyway. So, with your permission, sir, I'd like to run this competition on the back. I'm a hardback Gary man, <laughs> alright?